Now we're going to look at week one. All the weeks look almost the same, except there's different content. So again, if you click home, uh, you get to the uh, list of course resources at first, but if you either scroll down, you get to chapter one, which is also week one. You can also click this little triangle and it will uh, minimize course resources. And then you can see chapter one. And when you finish chapter one, you can minimize that. And then you can see chapter two. All right, so what's in a chapter? Uh, the first week, there is an extra one-on-one -on -one Zoom meeting. I do want to get to know you and um, see if you have any concerns about the class. You only have to meet me week one and also again in week seven, which would be after the midterm. Uh, when you meet with me, you need to make sure it's during my office hours, which are listed here at co in the course resources. Every week uh, has everything else here. Uh, we have a weekly forum for homework help. That's where you can ask questions when you get stuck. Uh, there is chapter objectives um, that's not necessary to look at. There is several sections in each week, uh, somewhere between two and five, I believe. Uh, usually, usually I'm going to have videos for these. Uh, so in 1.1, there's going to be a homework for 1.1 right here. You can, if you'd like, uh, click through the textbook. Uh, if you'd like to read the book first, you're welcome to do that. You can uh, watch the videos first. Uh, you probably don't want to do both before you start the homework. And I know some of you are just wanting to get started in the homework and that's okay to do as well. Uh, so if you click on the homework, I'll show you what the homework looks like. I recommend only have one homework assignment open at a time, um, and that also goes uh, for the quiz as well. So we're going to use, let's see, you're gonna hit start, you won't get this teacher option. Ah, back here on this page, it says the due date and the time, everything is due Monday night at midnight. So we'll get to the first question. Okay, so what's the size of the population, uh, of the sample and the population? So those are vocabulary words that are in the textbook where you can watch the videos. Uh, there's two numbers here. So one of them is one and the other one's the other, but you do need to know the difference between sample and population. So that's where you can decide if you want to read the textbook or watch the videos. Uh, if you do read the textbook, I'll show you how to find that very quickly. So population, was uh, one of the vocabulary words. We're in 1.1, so it clicks straight into 1.1. When you're in 1.3, you need to click on 1.3 uh, to go there. So most of what you need is going to be in bold. And I'm going to go down here. Population is what I want to get to. That's the word I saw. Key terms. Here's sample. That was one uh, to study the pop. So population. There's population and sample. So they're in bold. You can read what they are. Um, populations with the, what you're studying. Uh, and a sample is a small part of it. Um, you take a small uh, number of people or animals or a small number of elements of your population and look at them. So that's the difference between population and sample. I don't want to get further into it than this, but that's how to use your book. You can of course type in here. Uh, some words like sample are gonna appear a lot of times in the book. Usually you wanna pick the first uh, time they pop up. So if it appeared in lots of chapters, you probably wanna use one of the first times that it pops up here. Uh, so that's another way to navigate your book using the search feature. You can do something similar in the PDF. All right, so we are as covers uh, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, very similar, but different topics. Uh, 1.3, I will, is a computation. I do recommend you watch the 1.3 videos, uh, but you can start right in the homework, and then if you get stuck, you can go back and watch the videos. Now, there is a quiz. Uh, you won't see this using technology, so don't worry about that. We're gonna use technology the whole time. All right, the quiz is slightly different than the homeworks. On the homework, you can answer each question as many times as you want. Uh, the quiz is all questions at one time. And the number of points is the number of questions. So when you click on the quiz, actually I may have edited this. I think this one's only 10 questions now. 
All right, so this quiz has 10 points, uh, so 10 questions. This is again due Monday at midnight. They're always due Monday at midnight of the following week. Uh, you can take this assessment only two times. Uh, that's important to remember. Uh, you can't take it more than two times. Uh, so make sure you have time to take it. The time limit, I did pick a time limit that's longer than most of you are gonna need. You'll probably need, this all depends on what section, uh, what chapter we're doing and what week it is, but usually you'll need somewhere between 15 to 45 minutes. Um, but I believe I've put double of what I think most students will need as the time limit. So when you hit start, this will pop up. Just make sure when this pops up, it means you're starting an assignment you can only take a few times and it has a timer. So here, all the questions are uh, listed together here. So you have to answer all the questions and then you hit submit and end. So you need to type in answers or something with multiple choice. You do need to hit submit and end when you're done. And once you do, it'll tell you your score. I'll just take some guesses. Favorite candy bar, qualitative, all right. And submit and end. So it'll tell you how you did. Being a bit slow, what's going on? Uh, if you do have unattempted questions, this extra uh, thing will pop up here and just hit OK. Hopefully you don't have any that you didn't provide an answer to. Uh, it will give you your score right here. And uh, you can go back and review them. There is some randomization to the quizzes, but they're very closely related to the homeworks.